Alright, what's up everyone? It's been a year since I posted last, but um, I'm back for now. I don't know how long I'll be back, but I currently made a stall team with my 2T and I thought it would be a really nice idea to share with you guys. I don't know like if I'm going to be making more videos, but anyways, we started with the Tangrowth and Slowbro Regenerator Core. It's a very potent core, um, especially when you think of things like Amoongus that are more common in stall. The Amoongus core, very common. And the thing with that is that Swords Dance, Excadrill, Swords Dance, with Sharp, very annoying to deal with. So one of the things that Tangrowth does better than Amoongus is that it has a ground resist. And this ground resist is really nice for Excadrill. And you can really switch it in to Excadrill with almost like no risk involved. I mean, pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to have Rocky Helmet on the Tangrowth and you're going to be whittling down its health with Life Orb um, and Rapid Spin just piling up damage with the Rocky Helmet, which is really nice. And then you have Slowbro, obviously for stuff like Keldeo, Talonflame, just a bunch of physical threats, Mega Lopunny, Mega Medicham. So these two work really well together, and the main problem I'd say, other than stuff like Gengar and like Gardevoir, which I'll get to later, is status. And status is really annoying to deal with, so whenever you're playing stall, you gotta make sure that you have some sort of um, response to status, and that is why we have Mega Altaria. Now, Mega Altaria is a very versatile Pokemon, and what we're gonna do with Altaria is we're gonna run Heal Bell, just to make sure that like Scald Burns, will o -Wisp, Thunder Waves, whatever, Toxics really don't get in the way of um, Tangrowth and Slowbro walling stuff. And in addition to Heal Bell, we're going to have Dragon Dance, uh, Roost, and Return. So this is going to double as our win condition. And in Stall, you really need a win condition because you can't just run six walls anymore. You really need a win condition or S overuse just to make sure that you have that last push late game to make sure that you have the victory and Mega Altaria is one of the best to do it and luckily enough it has Heal Bell to support the rest of our team. Now another component to stall is that you need an entry hazards core and what I mean by an entry hazards core is that they can switch back and forth between each other with little problem and that you can keep up you know keep on racking up entry hazards and this really helps you when you have stuff like Skarmory and Chansey you know very standard but also very effective Skarmory lures in stuff like Rotom Wash, Ro Raikou and Manectric also Thunderous Incarnate and then you can switch to Chansey get your rocks up throw out a Toxic or something on the flip side you got Chansey which lures in stuff like other Stealth Rockers, Gliscor, Landorus, Garchomp, even Excadrill. So when you have those guys coming in, you can switch to your Skarmory, get a Defog up, get some Spikes up, whatever. And so these two work really nice in tandem with each other. And we have our five components to our style team. You know, five walls, very effective, that work well with each other. And so our last Pokemon, whenever I'm building stall for like Oras overuse, I like to have a catch-all glue type of Pokemon. And this glue Pokemon, surprisingly enough, isn't another wall. We're going to have a, an attacker, all-out attacker Heatran, which is really nice considering the common premier stealth rockers of overused, which have really gravitated towards the slower Rocky Helmet variants of Garchomp and Landristarian. Now these slower versions, the standard sets, they don't run enough speed to outspeed Timid Max Speed Heatran. So what you can do is you can run Expert Belt on the Heatran, then you can hit him up with the Hidden Power Ice, get a free kill, and that just makes your life a lot easier. You don't have to worry about, you know, using Defog if their like only stealth rocker is dead. So Heatran acts as an element of surprise, but more importantly, it acts as our main response to Mega Scissor, which would otherwise completely decimate our team. Remember, we're not running like Flamethrower on the Slowbro, we're not running like an another attack other than Return on Altaria, so you really gotta make sure that your Heatran is healthy whenever you're facing a Sword Stance Mega Scissor, or even Scissor in general, you know, Scissor, we're really weak to Scissor. So Heatran, you gotta keep it healthy for those types of Pokemon, and it also acts as our fairy killer because Skarmory as your only fairy killer is not a good 
look for any type of team, especially when you're looking at things like Calm Michael Fable, which normally runs like two attacks, Moon Blast and Fire Blast. So if it gets one Calm Mind up, even if you're running specially defensive Skarmory, you're going to get hurt. As for other threats, um, bulk up, especially defensive, Talonflame, since we're not running any Ancient Power or Stone Edge on the Heatran, because we're running Fire Blast, Earth Power, Hidden Power, Ice, and Flash Cannon. Uh, Slowbro can deal with the other variants of Talonflame relatively well, but you gotta make sure with the bulk up set that you have Heatran at health, where it's not like destroyed by bulk ups, uh, Brave Birds. And then you want to predict the roost and earth power. And once it's in kill range of like another fire blast or whatnot, you can pull it off. But yeah, you're gonna need some predictions for that. Mega Gardevoir, as always, it's the premier stall breaker of overuse. That's just how it is. Um, with this, you're gonna have to keep Skarmory very healthy, even with specially defensive Skarmory with Iron Head. You're going to take a lot of damage with Focus Blast and Stealth Rocks, so. Just make sure that your Skarmory is healthy enough to take a hit and dole one back with Iron Head. And Gengar. Gengar is really annoying to deal with, if only because we really can't touch it unless we take like massive damage. I think, yeah, I think Sludge Bomb like one KOs our Tangrowth and it should kill our Slowbro if it has Life Orb. So for the Life Orb stats, go to Chansey. If it has Pain Split. Then what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have one Pokemon that's substantially weak. Then you predict the pain split or you predict that he predicts the pain split or whatever. You just make a prediction, a good prediction, and you should be able to kill with life or recoil. It's probably going to take out like one of your team members, but such is life. If it doesn't have pain split, then it's really not much of a threat because you have Chansey. If it's one of those like leftover subsets, which I find are more common then it's a little more annoying to deal with but it's still more manageable in the sense that you have Skarmory and Chansey which you can switch back and forth between just to stall out the PP because you really can't touch Gengar otherwise. I mean you could touch it with um, Tangrowth but it's really not specially bulky so I really wouldn't recommend it. I'd just like recommend PP stalling the Gengar. So that's about it and let's go to the sets. Alright, first off we have the Tangrowth, obviously with Rocky Helmet, as I said before. We're going to run max health on the EVs, we're going to run 92 defense, and we're going to run 164 special defense. This just makes sure that if you have your Tangrowth in on something like a Garchomp with Fire Blast that isn't particularly strong on the special side, that you're still taking, you know, not a lot of damage. I think this set makes sure that like, if you switch in with rocks um, and you take a Fire Blast that you're not getting to a KO, don't quote me on that. Uh, sassy nature because we're running knockoff leaf storm that does a lot of damage and earthquake and obviously sleep powder because a lot of common switches to tangrowth are like talon flame heatran um just a lot of really threatening stuff that you could you know make do with sleep and we have altaria here we have the standard set 248 hp 136 defense 96 special defense and 28 speed impish nature I'm running Cloud9 just to make sure that if you switch this in on a Charizard Y with while it's like unevolved, then you're not taking a crap load of damage. Return, Heal Bell, Dragon Dance, Roost. Then we have Slowbro with leftovers, 248 HP, 232 defense, 28 special defense. This is also standard. This makes sure that your Keldeos, your Choice Specs Keldeos, Hydro Pumps don't two hit KO your Slowbro after you take Stealth Rock damage. Next up, we got Skarmory. Skarmory with leftovers, Sturdy, Iron Head, Roost of Fox Spikes, Max HP, Max Special Defense. You need all the special defense you can take to deal with Mega Gardevoir, which, as I said before, is the premier stall breaker and overused. Don't forget it. Chansey, also standard, Stealth Rock, Soft Boiled, Seismic Toss, Toxic, Eviolite. Just make sure that. Um, you know, your Chansey's Eviolite doesn't get knocked off. Or, you know, there are going to be some instances late game where you have a Tornadus or something that wants to knock off your uh, Eviolite. You can let it as long as you can pull off a Toxic next turn and then you realize you can win even without, like, the Eviolite on the Chansey. Then we got the Heatran. Heatran is max speed, max special attack, 4 HP. 
Now, there are some Landorus and Therian, I mean Landorus and Garchomps and Gliscors that will outspeed your Heatran. They aren't very common, so what you want to do is you want to look at Team Preview, make sure that, you know, it's plausible, maybe like 80% sure that, you know, your opponent is running one of the slower Landorus and Garchomp sets, and then you can just blast them with the Hidden Power Ice if they're stupid enough to stay in. Fire Blast, Earth Power, Flash Cannon, you're going to find that you're going to be leading with this a lot, if only because other people like leading with Rocky Helmet Garchomp and Rocky Helmet Landorus. So, this is nice to deal with. Just make sure that if they are um, if they have like a Mega Scissor in the background that you keep this healthy. It is imperative that you do so. Anyways, that's it for today. Um, I might be laddering with this in the future and uploading a video. I don't know if you guys are still like watching my channel Like I got a couple subscriptions like last week. And I was like why but anyways like I might you know Make some more videos, but you know, let me know what you think if you guys have any suggestions for Stuff that um, you want me to make or ladder with you know go ahead throw my way Anyways, this is plus this has been late night. This has not been late night. This has been team building with plus. I'll see you next time. Peace